In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a swim erg workout on Trainer Day. One of the great features of Trainer Day is how easy and intuitive it is to build workouts on their online platform for yourself or to share with your athletes. For this example, I'm going to use a classic pool workout, the 10 by 100, at an endurance pace and convert it to the VASA swim erg. To start, I'm going to click Create Workout on the left hand toolbar. From here, I'm going to select percentage FTP. I like to choose this over selecting specific wattages because as my FTP changes, this workout can scale with me. For my workout, I'm going to select sets and reps, which will allow me to write intervals into the workout. Now, since Trainer Day only does time-based workouts instead of by distance, I'm going to use my typical times in the pool and apply it to creating my workout. For example, if my easy warm-up pace is 130 per 100 meters, my 200 meter warm-up would be three minutes. Even if you swim in a pool that is yards and not meters, if you know your typical time that it takes to warm up, you can plug that time in and not worry about specific distances. It is important to keep in mind that you're going to be slower on the VASA swim erg compared to the pool because you're only using your arms and do not have turns. As you train more on the swim erg, it does become easier to figure out your paces, watts, and times for different efforts. For this workout, I'm going to do a five minute warm up starting nice and easy using damper door one. For FTP percentage, I'm going to do 50%. After the warm up, I'm going to do one minute passive rest with no swimming at all. So I'm going to input one minute at 1%. It is important to put in 1% for the passive rest so an accurate TSS is calculated. For the main set, I'm going to do 10 rounds of 145 at 80% of my FTP, all on damper door two, with 15 seconds of passive rest at 1%. To remind me to change the damper door, I'm going to put in a comment in the previous rest. To do this, I'm going to click interval comments and type in change to damper door 2. This comment will appear on the screen at the start of the rest interval. You can offset when this appears within the interval, so if I want it to appear 30 seconds in, I can type in 30 into the fourth column. You can also use these comments to remind you to hold form or focus on a specific part of your stroke throughout the workout. Another helpful feature of the workout builder is that you can create build sets where you start at one intensity and build to another. To do that, insert the starting FTP into column three, and then your finishing goal FTP into the fourth column. While it is hard to hit a specific wattage exactly when doing this workout, I find this feature is nice as a reminder to build the watts and give me an idea of what watts I should be hitting. Finally, I am now going to put in a five minute cooldown on damper door one. At the bottom of the screen, you can see what your workout would look like, the estimated TSS and how much time you're spending in each zone, as well as the dominant zone that you're targeting throughout the workout. Now I'm done creating my workout, I will need to add the details like a workout title, a quick description, and save it to a folder to find it easily in the future. Hit save and I'm all set to swim. After creating the workout, you're all set to go over to the app. Be sure that you're in swim erg mode. If you're still in cycling mode, go to settings, click sport, click swim erg, now hit the back button and click workouts to go back to the workout page. Now from the drop down menu, choose the folder that you saved the workout to. If you do not choose a folder, it will be in my creations unlisted. I chose the endurance workouts folder. I select that folder. I click my workout and now I click swim now and I'm all set to go.